Welcome everybody, Kevin Smack here, back with a new video to teach you how to get rid of lag and high ping on your computer. Again, we're back here. So I'm going to go through four new tips. So I hope you enjoy them and I hope it brings your ping even lower. I have another video on it as well. I'll link it at the very end in case you want to check that one out as well because these are another four. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. If you are also new to the channel and you like tech fixes, tutorials, and gaming, make sure you go through and smack that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and just jump right in, guys. We're going to go with number one. One's going to kind of be obvious for most of you. Basically, you want to make sure that not too many people are using the bandwidth on the computer when on the internet at your house when you're gaming. So if people are watching Netflix and YouTube and things like that, that is going to bog down your system. So um, it's actually more than I thought if they're watching high quality. So if they're watching Netflix and they're watching it really high quality, someone else is watching YouTube, someone's playing a game, someone's downloading stuff, you only have so much internet at one time. Basically bandwidth is what it's called. And if too many people are doing those kind of things, it's going to cause some problems. So there is a way to fix it, and that's going to be my number two tip. So let's go ahead and just jump right into tip number two. So tip number two is going to be different for everyone. Unfortunately, I can't show you the exact steps because my router, even though it was a very high expensive one, it does not have the option currently working. It pretends it does, but after I read all the forms, it appears Netgear did not implement uh, QoS to this. So what is QoS, you may ask? QoS is quality of service. Basically, it's like a priority list. So you could say, okay, this is the computer that needs to get the bandwidth first. So you could set your own computer or PS4 or Xbox on here. Just make sure that you don't put anybody else too low on the list because they might slow them down a little bit. But in a bind, whoever's first is going to get what's needed, and then whatever's left is going to get split amongst the rest. So if your internet's a little rough, quality of service is where you want to go. So in here, basically, you would select it. Like I said, it's not going to show it here. It's going to say, show your devices. With the devices, then you'll be able to put them in order. You could put number one for your computer, PS4, Xbox, whatever you're going to use, and then the others below you. That way you are always getting the highest amount of uh, speed when needed for gaming, for Fortnite, for whatever you're doing that you need it, especially if your ping is not good and it's high, this should bring it down a lot. This is probably the most important tip if you have a lot of people using the internet at your home at one time. Tip three. It's going to sound pretty obvious, but just going through and upgrading your internet can go through and speed up things. You don't automatically get what you can out of the cable company. You, there's different levels and different tiers. A lot of times the beginner mode is not that much different from the next step up. A lot of times you can even call and if you've been making payments and you've been a customer for a while, you may even request just to be moved up to the next package of the internet. I actually did and we got it for free. So we got a bump up for free and the speed difference is pretty big. So I'm enjoying it and I'm happy we reached out and did that. So you may want to reach out to your cable company as well and see if they can go ahead and bump you up. The extra speed will help out a lot. Your ping, if it is on your side, it could really get fixed right there and then. Tip four. One of the most important tips, which I tell everybody all the time, but nobody does, reboot your router, your computer, your modem, everything. Just turn it off, turn it back on once a month for the router and the modem is plenty. That should speed you up right there if there are any problems. Really does help out. Also reboot your computer before you play any games. It's always good to have a fresh, brand new, crisp reboot 
anytime you want to play video games. I reboot every time right before I play a game or I reboot any time before I encrypt one of my videos so I can go through and get it set up that way. So just a tip there for you guys. So once again, just going over them again, number one, try to not have too many people doing some intensive things on your network at the same time. Two, if they are and they're not gonna listen, go into your router settings. Usually the link is like 192.168.1.1, but you can always Google um, your router and just see what the link is, click on it, and then enter the information. Usually the default information is admin and then the password is either 1234 or 12345 to change it. So that'll get you into the router and then you can set up the QoS, which most routers do, Unfortunately, mine says it does, but it doesn't. Step three, upgrade your internet. Contact your cable company. See if you can get it for free first, of course. Number four, reboot your router. So I hope that all helped. If you are still having problems, I'm going to put a link up here uh, that will show you go how to fix ping on Fortnite. But most of these tips are for everything. Tip number two is the only Fortnite-specific tip. So I really hope this helped you out. I really hope we get you going with your ping and enjoy your gaming. Smack out. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. You guys are hardcore loving it. Down below, I have two videos that will help you decrease your ping even more. So check those out. Also, if you're interested in some gaming, check me out over on Twitch. It's just Kevin Smack.